Hey guys, welcome to Nashara Tutorials and in this video we're going to be making some fake blood using just household ingredients as we showed some fake blood in our card film which was released uh, a week ago. This is the scene we're focusing on. So yeah, with that being said, let's get started with this tutorial. But, um, wait a minute. My hair is not so good, I must change my hairstyle. Just, just wait. Um, I think this will do. Yeah, let's get started. Okay, for this you need a red food color, a green food color, both of which you can easily get from a nearby departmental store or any grocery store. Then you need a glass mug or cup or bowl or whatever you want to like mix your ingredients with. Then you need a teaspoon, some baking powder and some glycerin. But as I lacked glycerin at that point, you can use baby oil, which I have right here. Both of them are same things. Now what you have to do, oh, you also need some water. So grab your mug, fill it with the amount of water you want, the, the amount of blood to be produced. Fill it up with water. Now add some baby oil or glycerin, which you have. Make sure its proportion is like force to one. So if the water is like four parts, give it one part of glycerin. Now add some baking powder. Make sure it's a quarter of a teaspoon, something like that. Everything you have to justify according to the amount of water you filled in your mug. Okay, now you have to add some amounts of red food color. Make sure it's three to four drops at the most. Even if you fill up a whole bowl with water, make sure it's just a quite a few drops. Now, you will find that everything is nearly ready if you stir it up, but the green food color is like the most important bit. It adds a, li a little like of um, dark blood color. So, now you have to give two drops at the most or you can give one drop of green food color into your mixture now stir it well stir it and stir it and then after some quiet stirring you will find that you have now some thick and really dark deep color of fake blood now you can use it on your skin it will not react at all with your skin However, if you apply it to your skin, you will need two washes of hand wash, then it will go off and it is, yeah, you can totally put it in your mouth as long as you don't swallow it. If you swallow a little, it's no problem, um, but please don't even try to swallow it. Just put it in your mouth and spit like I did in my movie. And if it drops on your clothes, no matter, a few washes, a couple of washes will uh, like take the stain off your clothes. And yeah, that's how you do some fake blood. Now I wasted my fake blood like this and I throw it up on the sink. And yeah, this is how you have to do it. So this is how you make some really cool fake blood. So thanks everyone. If you have any course of course snaps, leave them all in the comment section below. If you indeed help this tutorial, click the like button and subscribe for more videos. So until next time, I'm going to be seeing you later. How do I get out?